Soft top at Jaws was stolen from J-O-B. I don't know if he ever planned to go out to Jaws with it, but he was definitely tackling some huge beasts at pipe. And I saw that and I was like, how in the world is he doing that? And then I actually got my hands on one and I realized these stinking boards paddle just as fast as my guns. Like, I wonder if this would be possible. After watching it for like an hour, maybe an hour and a half, I was like, Today is the day for the soft top. If I'm gonna try this, it's gonna be today for sure. I saw a couple inside ones that weren't that big and I was like, let me just see if I can even catch a wave with all the wind today. So I, I paddled to the inside and with just my luck, as soon as I got there, I got caught by a set and that was really fun. But the Dekine leash, trusted, didn't break. And that was like my main worry is the leash is gonna break, the board's gonna break and now I gotta swim in through all this current. But uh, Dave Stein was out and Victor Lopez was out and they both kind of swung in with their skis and Victor started rousing me saying like, you know, being a Portuguese on a soft top, what are you doing? Kind of just poking jokes at me. He's like, you want to go to the peak? And I was just like, no, but I'll give it a shot. I'm just getting pouted on the inside. So I jumped on the ski, whips me out to the lineup, the drop on that board. I couldn't believe I caught it. I was, I was paddling for it. Actually, I saw Francisco paddling for it and he was just a little farther out and he's on his 10.6. I'm just thinking, there's no way in heck that I'm gonna catch one right now. And I was like, I just gotta be right under the lip and just, just get to my feet and then I'll poke and that, that will be it. I can go in after that. But as the wave started coming in, it, I kinda got a little, a little side, side chop. It almost like kinda pushed me in a little bit. So as I get to my feet, I feel the board flex under my feet and I was like, okay, it's not gonna poke, it lands and then yeah, it does actually poke into the water, but it's so flexible that it just bends and shoots the nose back out of the water. I get blasted in my face by all this white water. I shake it and I look and I'm actually on the wave and I started cracking up mid face. I was just laughing because I could see um, Curtis was on the ski in the channel and I was just laughing because I was like, I can't believe I'm actually on the wave. And then when I finally came through and started laughing, I was like, I'm still on the wave and I got a turn and there's a big section coming. Started bottom turning it off the bottom and then that's when the rubber fins kicked in and just went womp and then I got pretty smoked actually. It wasn't the biggest wave, but I was in a good spot to get pretty tumbled and got the little washing machine going on, water in the nose for the next day and a half. and. Leash still didn't break, and I was just like, yes, I actually caught one. Let's call it a day. I think the ultra stink bug stance could be trendy. I know a lot of guys are doing like sole arches and trying to be really like smooth and artsy when they're surfing, but I swear, man, the stink bug windmill is gonna be the next great thing for style points because it's actually harder than it looks it's not very simple you have to have good flexibility in your in your groin to get your legs that wide and you got to have good shoulder mobility if you're really going to want to like swing it around so it's something to look forward to